Hey people, we are back in the truck, headed to South Dakota for our last hunting trip of the year. Last South Dakota hunting trip of the year. Yeah, we'll probably squeeze something in around local, home, Kansas, yeah. Kansas stuff, but we're headed to South Dakota right now. Uh, we got a little bit later start than we wanted to because we needed to get a GoPro mount for the dash because otherwise the GoPro would be sliding all over the place. And so yeah, we had to stop at Walmart on a Saturday right before Christmas. It was craziness. But so we're headed to South Dakota. It's going to be super cold while we're up there. Um, compared to our last trip, things are going to be frozen. So we're not going to have to wade through water. Um, yeah, if you watch some of our previous vlog videos from our Thanksgiving trip in there, you saw several times where we had to jump flooded areas and soaked boots and all kinds of stuff. Yeah, so it will be frozen, which will make getting around some of that a little bit easier, but there's going to be a bit of snow on the ground um, and coldness. The uh, snow should push birds into cattail pockets and other stuff. Late season South Dakota hunting can be a lot of fun. Yeah, because usually more of the crops are off and then those birds are in areas that are going to hold um, them nicer. So kosher pockets, things like that. So, But because like I said, it's super cold, the doggies, which I'm going to show you them because they're adorable, are not riding in the back of the truck right now. They are hanging out in the back. Oh. Up. We've got Nick's Muddy and Rex. I know, we're softy, but we love them. We, we love, love our dogs. For sure. And Legendy is in the crate. Puppy crate. He is too much of a puppy right now. To be romping around in the back, he would just cause chaos with the three big dogs right now. Um, but it's important for him to be able to come along on these trips. Yeah, we, uh, we preach this a lot that you need to develop your dog to be the dog you want them to be as an adult. So doing all of those things as a puppy and having the expectations of them as a puppy. I know a lot of times, and I will be honest, I was close on this trip. That it's gonna be cold. It's gonna be cold and you know, it's a, it's a fun trip, but getting a puppy to potty in the snow when it's below freezing isn't the easiest thing sometimes, but it's important for him to learn that. The, the more that they do at this age, the better and the easier these trips and traveling and stuff like that will be on them down the road. So, so he gets to make a South Dakota road trip. He's not going to be doing any hunting yet, but he gets to do all the other things, the traveling, the going potty in the snow, playing in the snow. It'll be his first uh, snow experience. So it'll be fun. It'll be cute. Um, we'll make sure to show you all of that cuteness for sure too. So, but. We've been on the road for a little while now, and it's getting close to lunchtime. Yes, I'm getting starving, and I do not want to get hangry, so we're gonna stop. Um, Nebraska is known for a lot of nothing and terrible cell phone service. Yes. So our choices are a little bit limited. We have Taco John's, Dairy Queen, Arby's, and maybe a McDonald's thrown in there. I don't know. Uh, but yep. we are going to be hitting a Mexican restaurant tonight for dinner and margaritas. Margaritas. So we are going to skip Taco John's for lunch and then um, we've got this guy around. So ice, ice cream. cream. Love it. So we're going to hit up Dairy Queen and uh, looks like we're rolling into town to do that now. So we'll be back soon. When you don't wear a coat, you're wimpy. <laughs> Oh, the, the door pulls. Sorry. Do, do, do. Oh, no. I need ice cream. And ice cream and alcohol don't go together in my mind. So, cinnamon roll shake, snickerdoodle blizzard. Snickerdoodle. Okay, snickerdoodle blizzard. It is. Thank you all for your input. It made my decision a lot easier. I can't make decisions. <laughs> this was a delicious choice. But I'm pretty sure their minis are getting smaller. What? Well, this is definitely not where I left Nick's. Buddy. That was my only fear about this. Hi, buddy. No, 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 no. Reverse, reverse. Back up. Kennel in the rear. Uh -uh. That was poker in the rear. <laughs> Get back there. 
let's go. No, no, no. Good thing I remembered, just in the nick of time, we about left my ice cream on the top of the truck because Nyx was in my seat. So, uh, uh, don't eat my ice cream. kind of hard for us to even see exactly how much snow but if you can see our forecast here hourly it looks like there's gonna be some snow potential overnight between like 12 a.m. and 8 a.m. up to like 60% chance during those hours and then it drops off to very little chance of snow the rest of the day which should make for some pretty darn nice hunting a little bit of fresh snow on the ground should hopefully push those birds into some of that thicker cover like we had talked about earlier where they're going to be bunched up easier to find uh should make for a pretty epic day so i'm excited we are pulling in to the lodge right about now okay maybe right about now okay now we're pulling in Right now. Okay. Yay. And we have arrived. Now to let the dogs out and get them taken care of. All right, guys, thanks for watching. We've made it up here to winter. Now it is... It's time for some margaritas. Ooh, <laughs> good thing that we there was a truck there. We haven't been drinking yet, but... It's just a good thing we don't have to start till tomorrow at 10.